Hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be episode shit. Uh, not episode shit. The 25, I think? Hang on, I'm checking really fast. Ugh, I'm so professional. This is going to be episode 24 of Dinosaur playing Final Fantasy VII. Now, before I switch the overlay back to the actual game screen, I gotta point a few things out. Number one, I'm really sick. I've been sick for like two weeks now. It is currently 8 o'clock in the morning, but uh, I woke up. I've, I've got so much energy, and I can't really go for like a three-mile run outside because I'm fucking sick. And I mean, even when I'm in shape, you know, when I'm not feeling sick, I can't go for a three-mile run because I'm fucking basement dweller nerd who's out of shape and gets out of breath running half a mile. I mean, okay, I'm going to switch to the... Yeah. Okay, so you might notice something. I put up a webcam because I'm feeling adventurous, whatever. I gesture a lot when I play. So, you, you can't see my hands. There's my hands. But, uh, you know, here's my basement. There's a window behind me. Got lights and a webcam and shit. But, uh, before I get to the game, um, I wanted to say that I, I just... I have this energy and I, I, I can't do anything about it. I'm sick. So, I'm just gonna play video games and talk about them. Now, last episode, we, uh, we learned a lot of shit. We learned that Red 13, his real name is Danaki, he's a teenager, he's got daddy issues. Uh, we learned that this is the place where Avalanche was born, and we got to see a cool laboratory thing. Now, if I talk to this guy, uh, we are ready to go. We will go. And one of the things here is with with the webcam and all. Uh, with the webcam, I try to put it someplace where it won't block text. But it's it's an RPG, and the text boxes are all over the place. Generally, I read everything. So, by the way, Boogan is like a hundred freaking twenty. He's old as shit. He, he doesn't have legs either, so... But we are now getting into the meat of Cosmo Canyon. We are going to where we want to be going. As we descend, uh, things get more toxic, and the music fades, which is a nice touch. And who, we don't know what's going on, really. But apparently there's shit we need to see down here, so we're gonna go see shit, I don't know. Um, the, now this place has a gimmick. You go into these caves, and there are strange looking rocks, and you need to break them. Now there's no way to tell, I think if I looked up a, uh, a fact or a walkthrough, I'd be able to find the correct one, but why would I do that? That's cheating. So, we're fighting some geese specters. Now, the gimmick of this place is that, uh, well, all the enemies are from the Gee tribe, which invaded Cosmo Canyon so many years ago. And they are still here, they're still fighting, whatever, whatever, whatever. And that's it. <sighs> they drop a decent chunk of experience, though. So we want to find the right cave, and funny looking rock, not that one either. When you find the right rock, the net, the passage to the next area will open. Red 13 on this limit break. I could show off Lunatic High, what Lunatic High does is cast haste on your entire party. Um, in a boss battle it's good, but here it's not really worth it, and look at, I mean, he didn't even, his limit break's not even good enough to, to one-shot an enemy. And also he's getting his ass kicked. So I'll show off some magic, I'll show off Cure 2. There, just got a critical. Good. If you're wondering why I'm looking over there, that's where the other monitor is, where my recording program is. So I like to make sure that the recording's going on and all that. You're learning all these new things about me today. 
These enemies are getting a lot of turns in a row, and that's kind of bullshit. So, we just gotta keep going until they die. Hey, he's about to get another limit break. This is stupid. I'm sorry for the sniffling. Um, hopefully I don't get a, into a, uh, a coughing fit either. But it's it, it's part of the job, you guys. It's what I do. And okay, here's another thing that I'll, I'll just do it after the battle. I don't need to explain it. Level ups for Cloud and Red. That's good. And I, I want to get money. I want to grind money because I need to get more of that. HP plus materia. Now, I can put Baron into the back row because he now has a long range weapon. So, I will do that. He'll take less damage and everybody will be happy. An odd shaped rock. There we go. Uh, I don't think there's anything else over here. A couple more. One more cave. One, one more cave. That looks good. I mean, I covered up the ATV bars, but it's pretty easy to tell what's what's good, you know? Like, when the turns pop up, you can tell. So this is... the, the stakes are heads, and the other guys are sneaky steps. Um, I did not explain last battle what the death sentence does, or... I, I don't know if that was death sentence again, but what happens is... Timer appears over the head when it counts down. Whatever death, they'll die after 60 seconds, or you know, they'll die after 60 seconds, or they'll get petrified, or whatever, whatever, whatever. Ho ho ho! Santa Claus is speaking again. Everyone hears a ghost of the Gee Tribe killed in a certain battle. I explained that already. A certain battle. The vengeful spirits of the Gi didn't disappear, and they couldn't return to the life stream. We still have far to go. Ho, ho, ho. This is actually a fairly short dungeon. It's only like three screens long, but there's a lot of alternate paths and gimmicks. Like right here. That's an oil slick, and if you run on it, you'll plow into the end, and there's spikes there that will cause damage to the entire party, and it sucks. <laughs> Okay, I gotta start coughing, so... And we're back. Uh, Halt Whip is just a, a regular attack, but unfortunately has the effect of freezing your characters. Do I have any summons on? Alright, let's show off a summon here, because these enemies are pissing me off. We're going to summon Shiva. And like I said, I don't really do summons too much. Chocomog is useful because it paralyzes enemies. I might do a summon montage video eventually when I get all the summon materia. Because I really don't use that often. But, that's pretty good. I'm going to start eating through my MP. For some reason, in this Let's Play, I'm using magic a lot more than I usually do in my common games. Alright, so we just got the added effect materia. And we actually want to use that very much. So we'll do transform and added effect. Remove sense. That's good. And that added effect materia will be very important in the upcoming battle, and I'll point it out when it happens. I feel like I'm really close to the webcam. Kind of am. Okay, so the gimmick again on the oil slip is you need to walk. There, it's got its limit break, so we're going to use that right away. Okay, so there's death sentence. If the clock manages to count down to 60, Barrett will die. Limit breaks are awful now. 
I really need to grind limit breaks, I think. Clouds is good, but Cloud's the main character. He's the heavy hitter, but he's gonna be doing most of the damage, so. It's whatever, you know? And I, I think a problem that I'm having with this game now is a lot of the animations take a long time. I mean, at the time they wanted to show them off because it was like cutting edge graphics and really cool, but I think it gets to a point in any game where you've played it enough that you just want to keep the story going or whatever, 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 and you're sick of the animations. You're just like, I don't care. I've seen this 80 trillion times. Which begs the question of why you're playing it again, I guess. What just leveled? Was it the lightning? I don't freaking know. Oh god, no. My computer fell asleep. Alright. We're just... Screw this, man. Break out the summons. There should be a skip button. Also, the advantage of having a second monitor is when there's stuff that's going on, I can look at Facebook or something. You know. I'm wondering if those enemies are fire elemental. It makes sense because there's lava everywhere, and that's why she was particularly good. I could say I did it intentionally, but I'd be lying, because I really, really didn't. But we want to get the treasure. One of them I know I don't care about. That's a good one. It's money. The other one I don't care about, but I'm going to get it anyways, because it's also money. Ah, shit. I just did a little trick there. When you get into um, a back attack, if you tap with R1 and L1, your characters will attempt to run away, but the thing is they'll turn around when you stop running. So, the whole deal about getting, you know, hit for double damage, negated. Tips and tricks for a 16-year-old uh, game. Hope you used them. Oh! Added effect materia. Because I gave Cloud added effect plus transform link in his materia, there's a chance that when he attacks an enemy, they'll become mini, or they'll become, as you see there, a frog. It's actually a really handy combination. And it'll hopefully be quite useful in a, in a couple fights coming up that are kind of mid bossy. So a black M phone, that's a weapon for Kate Sith, who I never fucking use because he's terrible. And I think he was already forced into the party once and I never got into a battle with him and he's never forced into the party again. I will success Oh shit, never mind. I was about to say I will successfully get through this game without ever using him in a battle, but that's a lie. I will be forced into several battles with him somewhere on disc two or three. I think three, which is unfortunate, but what can you do? Now hopefully when that moment comes, I'll remember to hang on to a weapon for him. But we shall see how that goes. Yeah! M tentacles. Uh, Malbor tentacles are actually useful because I believe... Let's take a look. The deadly ways cast bio two, so M tentacles should cast bio three. Damn. Let's heal up the party and keep going. Anytime you start to go to the next area, Bugen comes out to speak. As you can see, this cave leads to the back of Cosmo Canyon. It was unfortunate that the Gi were larger than us. If they attacked through here, we wouldn't have stood a chance. Hmm. Let's move on. So, there actually is a point to all this storytelling. I could spoil it, 
but that wouldn't be very sporting of me. Uh, I don't... Okay. Alright, so... Damn it! I think this was just a rant. Yeah, it's a random battle. Kill this guy. Slashy, slashy, and he's dead. I think after this, this oh, I might grind out some limit breaks. At least for Barrett. Alright, so we run into these webs, and we get into these, these fights with these enemies. These guys are called Stingers, and they're giant assholes. Which is why my first course of action is going to be to cast Mini. Hopefully it works. Now, Mini's gimmick is that, obviously, the enemy shrank, but beyond that, every hit will do that. One damage. And that's good, because these enemies usually, without Mini cast on them, would be assholes. Like gigantic assholes. Now they're just little assholes. They have, they have a move called, like, Bomber or something. They, they jump up and pound you. Sting Bomb, that's it. Look at that! 593 with Mini on? That is... Some, that is... Okay, I can't speak. That would be a one-hit kill. Oh, sh... What? Okay, I guess it's incremental. Like, I guess it can't kill you. Let's... Okay, so it would do that move, which would cause a lot of damage like it just did, but then it would hit you with a regular attack and then kill you. In this case, because its regular attacks only do one damage, it's kind of ineffectual. But not really, because I still have to heal a decent chunk. But having... Uh, casting Mini and or Frog, which I don't have yet, I could chance it and just attack... But, um, that's kind of dangerous because it might not work. Uh, shh. Guess I'm going up here. So, you're only required to fight two of them. I fight all three because I like treasure and experience. So, same thing. Oh, by the way, Lunatic High, which I showed off last battle, um, cast haste on your party. It does something else, too, like, I think it increases your damage a little bit, but I'm not quite clear on that. I could look it up, but you should look it up, because I'm playing a game right now, and I can't be asked. Sorry, guys. Now, casting mini does nothing to change the defensive capabilities of enemies or their HP amount, but, as you can see, he just did a critical hit and it still only caused one damage. So, in conclusion, many good status effect, Frog also good status effect, because now that he's a frog, he can't even use Sting Bomb. Ah, what the hell, I'll kill you up there one. Now, Cure 2, of course, has purple sparklies, which are much more appealing and healing than red or green sparklies, which is what Cure 1 is. And we're good. Uh, I almost have enough money to be able to purchase two HP plus materials, which is my goal. Damn it! You know what this calls for. Please don't paralyze Cloud, it's all I ask. It sucks that they don't get to go first, like what is this bullshit? I should find a way to set up programs so that every time I get into a battle I hit a hot key and different music comes on. Cause as good as the battle music is, this is something I discussed in a, in a video I did with Megan, um, which you should watch, by the way. Uh, 
as good as music gets, having one battle theme is just like... It gets so tired. So I really am running low on um, MP for everyone right now. I'm just plowing out the magic. Shit. Uh, there's a way to get over there. Here we go. Fairy ring is an accessory of some sort. I really don't bother with accessories except for the ribbon. What can I say? The ribbon um, nullifies all status effects. No status effects will work for you. Will work on you, and that is very important. Like that, Fred 13 had the ribbon equipped. He wouldn't be poisoned right now. What do you want? You can't really beat that. Oh, shit. I'm gonna save Cloud's Limit Break for the next fight. I missed the Death Blow. But I'm just gonna keep doing it because I wanna save that Limit Break. Frogs also only cause one damage. Very handy. There, just got a critical hit, also handy. There's a critical hit. Very good. Battle's over. I hope I have enough ethers. So I'm gonna have to actually chug some of those down for the next boss fight, I think. Ah, oh, damn. Alright. Let's do this. Last stinger fight. Mini. And do some attacking. It's a good thing that that works, like on the first try every time. Alright, I don't think I've shown off Clem Hazard yet. Cloud's 2 2 limit break. Uh, he stabs the enemy and then just does an upward leaping slice. Pretty badass, does a lot of damage. Obviously, it's much better against a single enemy. Alright. Barrett got a limit break. Red's got a limit break. Ooh, this is actually really good. This is a good setup. I like this. He's a frog. Cloud's turn yet. Do this. This because I'm gonna pump everyone um, magic back up after this battle, so just cast some magic. Oh yeah, problem solved. Okay, only 290 experience for fighting those things. Seems a little off to me. Turbo Ether. Um, it's a good ether. Uh, how many of those do I have? That's the real question. One for everyone. Now that is 1500 to a 2250 gil I just threw away. And funnily enough, turbo ethers are only worth one gil, even though they're infinitely more valuable. That actually bothers me in games like this. How uh, really good items actually don't get fetch you a good price. So now we're getting some more backstory. This warrior went through the cave all alone, fighting attackers one after another. Grandpa, that warrior. Ho, ho, ho. We're almost there. Hmm. Now this actually, like, blew my mind when I was little. That face creeped me out. What is this? Grandpa, is he... After death, the ghosts of the Gi, like stagnant air. This can't be! So the face comes to life and smiles like... And... We're in a fight. Now we're gonna do Lunatic High. We're also going to do Mind Blow on the boss. Yes, that's right, Mind Blow. Now, like I said, Lunatic High cast haste on the party, which is great. And Mind Blow. I 
guess I should have cast it on my little breeds. Mind blow saps MP, but I guess the, the real boss doesn't actually have MP. Now that move, uh, <coughs> excuse me, he sends one of his little buddies into your characters, and they just keep casting fire too on you. But I refilled everyone's magic for a reason, and that reason is... Are you serious? Okay, Aspil sucks MP. It's an MP sucking move, and it sucks. Sometimes the uh, animation lags when the enemy has the whole takeover thing going. But Shiva is ice, and these guys are obviously fire, so hopefully she'll do a lot of damage. I guess I actually did think this through, um, coincidentally. I'm okay with that. Oh yeah, that's a good chunk of damage. Ice 2 on all the enemies. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, I can only cast Shiva once per battle. I was hoping to cast Mind Blow on the little fire duty, but, uh, that's not gonna work now. Yeah, take that. What? He took 35 MP from Red. What, did he use it? Oh god, that's not good. This fight's being a little more difficult than I remember it being. Oh shit! That's not supposed to happen. Well, this is going well, everyone. Now, funnily enough, the next update is going to have the battle that I thought I would die in. I only have two Phoenix Downs? Oh, man. What if I can kill these things? I've never actually really tried. I'm going to try. There goes one of them. Okay. Yeah. That's good. I like that. And try and kill the other one too. Heal up the party. This is gonna be a little longer of a, of a fight, but it's a boss fight, so that should happen. Why don't I have the other ice materia equipped? Am I, like, blind? Am I missing it? I really don't have it equipped? On anyone? That seems a little silly to me, a little unprepared. Well, right now it has 7 MP. I really just don't have it on. That's okay, with these guys dead, the battle will be much easier. 262 HP is not going to save him, I'm not worried. And this minor inconvenience, 108 HP, drop in the bucket. Regular attacks do more than that. There we go. Now, if I really wanted to get tricky. Now, I could have done this from the beginning. But. I just wanted to add some attention to the fight. What can I say? I'm a sucker for uh, cinematics. Because Gein Attack is an undead enemy. Using a Phoenix down, or an X Potion, or an Elixir on him kills him like that. It's a trick of, um, most, most RPGs. Thank you, Cloud. Because of you, we survived.
And Aki, you have grown strong too. Oh yeah. Now I know that it wasn't a mistake bringing you here. Come, I have something I want to show you. Right over here. And we get a gravity materia as a reward for the boss, as well as the money and the experience. And we get a slightly more um, oriental and sentimental sounding version of the Cosmo Canyon theme, which I personally like a lot. This is. The warrior who fought against the Gi, he kept them from taking even one step into Cosmo Canyon. never able to return to town. Look, look at your father, the warrior, Sito. So for 48 years, Red 13 thought he had daddy issues. He spent 48 years hating his father. But his father was actually a fucking badass, who was pierced with multiple arrows and turned to stone and yet still keeps guarding the canyon. How can you, like, how can you be against that? It's a way to turn your life around. He continues to protect us, even now. I would be intimidated by that statue. He thought that he was a coward and ran away. But he alone, that's improper comma usage. But he alone risked his life to protect Cosmo Canyon. That is your father. Did Mother know? She knew. The two of them made me promise to keep this cave shut. They asked me to seal it myself and not to tell a soul. They said we should forget about this cave. Do you mind leaving the two of us alone? The boy's about to catch a beaten. Not really. I want you to continue your journey with Cloud and the others. Grandpa? Listen. Cloud says they are trying to save the planet. Honestly, I don't think it can be done. Or even if they stop every reactor on the planet, it's only going to it's only going to postpone the inevitable. Even if they stop Sephiroth, everything will perish. So that's kind of a downer. He's right, but but I've been thinking lately. I've been thinking if there was anything we could do as a part of the planet, something to help a planet already in misery. No matter what happens, isn't it important to do something? I don't know. Isn't it important to try? Sorry, my screen went dark, because I forgot to move my mouse. Am I just wishing against fate? I am too old to do anything about it. This year I'll be 130. Damn, Santa. That is why you must go with them, for my sake. So you want to live vicariously through your grandson who happens to be 48 slash 1516 and is a lion dog thing. I can't fault it. I wanted to show you your real father before you left. I'm so glad that you came back while I was still alive to show you. Grandpa, don't talk like that. I don't want to think of life without you. It's 130. That's pushing it. Again, I'm 130, I've had a long life. She Grandpa, you must live. I'll see to it. I'll see to what's happening to the planet, and I'll come back to tell you. I am Nanaki of Cosmo Canyon, the son of the warrior Sito. I'll come back a warrior true to that noble name. So please, Grandpa. Now, I never really got this part. I'm guessing that it's Sito's tears. He's crying because he's proud. 
or we get a weapon from this. The weapon, I, I'm gonna say... But look, they're coming from his eyes. It does look like he's crying, doesn't it? I don't know. But that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up Cosmo Canyon. That wraps up the big arc of Red 13. Um, obviously, you know, there's more character development than that, but this was a big part of it. The buggy's fixed, so we can go now. Shall we get going? So this is it, Red 13. That's just the way it goes. You came in handy at times. Barrett, Yuffie, and we're ready. So the rest of the party walks off. They phase into cloud. Time to move. Although there is something I need to do first. I know this episode's probably getting kind of long, but this is important. Not you. You. Welcome. How about our original cocktail, Cosmo Candle? Nah, that's not what I wanted either. First, this. Our cocktails are good, but our wine is the best. Please stop into Turtle's Paradise. Now, believe it or not, reading those flyers is actually a side quest, and I missed one back in the Shinner building, and it's going to take me forever to get back to it. So first off, I want to rest to heal up, because the game doesn't automatically do it for us. But... I wonder who slept on the couch. Were you able to hear the star's whispers? Well then, please come again. Or maybe it's... there we go. Maybe I didn't even have to sleep, but I, I wanted to. Um, alright. So guys, that was episode 24 of myself playing Final Fantasy VII. Uh, the inclusion of the webcam. I might hang on to it, I might not. I was feeling it today. I don't know how much it actually adds to the cast. Or the episode probably do it again for the next episode. Um, I'm wondering if there's a way for me to do it uh, with Megan. Of course, it'd be up to her if she wants to use her webcam or not. Now, when we're together, I think I'll try and do that, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. I think I grew up a little. That's what happened. Oh, that's it. Okay. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, that was episode 24. I think I said all that already. Um, please make sure to watch our other content. It means a lot. Go to our Facebook page, uh, Dinosaur and Megan, on Facebook. Uh, search for Dinosaur and Megan. Give us a like. Leave comments on our walls. We really don't get that enough. Um, tell your friends about us. Make fun of us. Do, do whatever you want. And, uh, next time, next time I'll be doing stuff, be playing the game again, moving along, chucking along, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.